Ladies and gents, welcome to the platform. And next to me, I have the Phil Impella. And Phil, you know, I, we want to know, you know, you're a very successful social media entrepreneur. And today I want to talk about entrepreneurship, you know, based on converting your followers into money. So let's talk a bit about that. First of all, I mean, I don't need to introduce you. Everybody knows who Phil Impella is. But when did it click that, yo, man, I can make money using social media? The moment I made money, <laughs> being on social media, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing. Look, I always, I always joke about I was an influencer before they were influencers. I was making money on my blog, yeah, yeah. on Blogspot. Before there was Twitter thing, yeah. I was making money because I amassed a number of readers and whatever on my blog. And people were like, oh. You know, we are lunch bar, you've got a blog, everybody reads that, let's pay you f to do whatever. So yeah, so I was an influencer before they were influencers. I remember filmpella.com, was it filmpella.blogspot? Yes, yeah, filmpella.blogspot.com. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you stop like having a, a, a blog and a platform? Because the thing is that as a content creator, you need to evolve. You need to evolve because if you don't evolve, then you're not being stagnant and you lose their growth with your audience. So the audience that had me on Blogspot are not the audience that, that I have on Twitter. And if they are, they are the audience that are not gonna read a full article anymore. So one of the things that the people make a mistake on in terms of content creating, they forget to evolve. Look at where your audience is, look at where your audience is going, and then tweak your content to suit that market. And that's what I do. You know, I started off on Blogspot writing full articles, when I realized, oh, not so many people are reading my articles anymore, I went to a short form, which was Twitter. And then there I met new people in terms of audience. And that's what you need to do. You need to evolve. Like right now, Twitter is shit. It's very negative. Twitter is very negative and ugly. And I'm working on things. You know, I do space talk, I can say it. I'm already, I'm already doing it. I'm doing spaces now for TV shows. I do a space for Big Brother. I was doing spaces for the wife. Make good money out of that. Make good content out of that. And that's what you need to do as a content creator. You need to always evolve with your audience or with the time. Yo, Phil, man, I don't want to keep you here too long. Now, how do you build a relationship with brands? Like, that's like one of the questions people always ask. Number one, don't chase numbers. Chase credibility. Somebody with a million followers with shit content. Somebody with a million followers who their profile is very negative or whatever. No brand is going to come to that. People don't know this, guys. I got verified at 4,000 followers. Really? On Twitter. Yes. I had 4,000 followers on Twitter when I got verified. So the content that you put out to return to attract brands needs to be a content that is clean and can speak to brand values. So you can have a million followers, but if your content is about swearing at people, it's about pornography and all this kind of, no brand is going to touch you. You understand? All you need to do, chase credibility. Building your name is much more important than building your numbers in terms of following. Because that's the thing. You know, me as Film Pillar, right? I can tweet something. Maybe 100, 200, 300 people will like it or retweet it, right? But guess what? It lives beyond me. YouTubers will pick it up. Other platforms will pick it up as an article. So that's what we call cross-pollination of content. I built my name to a point where my content doesn't it doesn't just leave on my plan. And that's what you need to do. Build your name and build your credit because once you've done that, then your money is not gonna come because you've got a million followers. Your money is gonna come because you've got credibility. You will know that if you post something, other people are gonna pick it up and it's gonna leave beyond your numbers. Last question and I think you 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 partly answered it man. I was going to ask you how to get followers, but you answered that. Lastly, I want to know, like, you always trying to be innovative on social media with yeah. your content. You had the video thing going on. What is next for Phil Impella? How are you going to be? How are you being innovative moving forward? No, I can't tell you my secrets now. But no, no, but the thing, the thing about me is that I evolve. Get what I'm saying? You can never put me in a box and say, Phil Impella only does this. I always evolve, and I'm, I'm smart enough to know that content evolved you know there are different platforms there are different avenues i'm always doing that so watch out I, I, well i can tell you right now twitter spaces 
I've made a lot of money from that shit in two months. Now I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the secret to making money is Twitter spaces, guys. No, it's building your credibility. Okay. Temba can open a space. Nobody's going to pay Temba to do a space. But somebody's going to pay Phil and Pillar to yeah. do a space because of my name, yeah. credibility. So the number one goal of being an influencer or anybody who wants to make money on the internet is build your credibility. Protect your name. You know people on Twitter say, you like defending shit. I'm like, you don't understand. I'm defending my brand. I'm defending my name. Because my credibility is my currency. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>